Okay. Andrew, Andrew here, rushing to go see... Venus and Furs. Which we are so thrilled to see because it features Nina Arianda, who was the best thing about Born Yesterday last Fantastic. season. Fantastic. She's tremendous, a huge talent, and I can't wait to see her play a role diametrically opposed to the one that she was in. Or was it? She was pretty saucy in the last one. We're running a bit late. Um, out of breath. Looking forward to it. Didn't see it when it was off-Broadway. So we're excited to see it now that it is on Broadway. Are you sure it's over here? One hour, 45 minutes. Oh, yeah, there it is. No intermission. Andrew, Andrew, Peterson first. Come on. Fast. Well, now we just got out of the show. We're a little... We've just um, been released from the show. Yes. I've never watched something so erotic with while sitting next to so many elderly people. <laughs> This is, this is an intense show. Basically, the plot is a woman is um, auditioning for a show based upon the book Venus and Fur about the beginning of sadomasochism. You see a transformation in her, played by Nina, which is absolutely tremendous. Well, no, it's, it's not a shift. It's a, it's a revelation. She's always been this cunning and intelligent and powerful woman. And she has a way of playing both sides at the same time. One moment being the Cindy Lauper-esque uh, Brooklyn girl, and the next minute on a dime turning into this powerful goddess. If you're a fan of Cronenberg films, this is very Cronenberg-esque. Oh, it's true. There's a lot of humor in this show, and as soon as they get too serious and too deep, they bring back the humor. Jump around stage in almost nothing. Hugh Dancy. Hugh Dancy did a great job, too. He does a really good job of acting like a bad actor, because he's not an actor. He's not playing an actor. You say green light? Is that, are we done with the interview? The oh, review? go ahead. Did you want to say more? I don't know. I thought... We can't stop talking about the show. Just devoured a burger and digested the show. I want to go again and bring Camille Tagli and see what she says about the show. It's almost like the mountaintop, except instead of civil rights, it's um, sexual revolution. It's like an onion, that old thing with you, you peel the onion away and there's more and more the more you dive into it. Like a sexy, sexy onion. It's really well, well written, well conceived, well acted. All good art has ambiguity to it. I was a little bit frustrated with the ambiguity upon first leaving the theater, and the more it sat with me, the more I kept peeling that onion. It was like I, I took a doggy bag home of, of theater onion and, and just, just peeled a few more layers back. I think it's going to do very well, but yeah, don't take your mom. Take a photo for her? <laughs> no, not me.